Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Real Talk. I am your host, Eve Nyaga. So they say that disability is not inability, but what are we doing to make sure that we create a life that, is, that makes it much easier for persons with disability in our day-to-day -day lives? You can be part of this conversation by sending in your comments, questions, or tell us where you're watching us from on eCircuit across all our social media platforms. Or you can talk to me directly at my social media handles at Eve underscore Nyaga one on Instagram and Twitter and Evelyn Nyaga on Facebook. So today we will be talking about breaking the physical mobility barriers and in studio with me are Stella and John. They are presenters as well and they are campaigning tirelessly to make sure that they break these barriers. So welcome guys. Thank you so much. Kindly introduce yourself. Hello, good morning. Mm -hmm, morning. Uh, my name is John uh, and um, let's say mm -hmm. I'm a campaigner this campaign mm -hmm. uh let's say i'm a campaigner for this uh creating awareness on uh, mobility issues mm -hmm. uh, specifically mm -hmm. mobility issues just hold your mic like this like this yes thank yes, you mm -hmm. uh my name is john mm -hmm. and um i'm a campaigner closer to your mouth. <laughs> just hold it like this and closer mm -hmm. to your mouth so that we can get you clearly so, so. Yes. oh you. Uh, good morning good morning uh, my name is john mm -hmm. And I'm a campaigner for this campaign, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we work together with Stella. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'd, ju I'd just like to t you to tell us mm -hmm. about um, part of your presenting job, so that we can get to the campaign much later. What do you do professionally? Well, I'm not a presenter, not yet, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. but I'm in school. Mm -hmm. But I'm also, I do DJing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for mm -hmm. joining us. Thank you. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hello. Uh, my name is Stella Tioi. Mm -hmm. I am a student at UON, mm -hmm. um, pursuing journalism and media studies. Mm -hmm. I'm also a presenter here in KBC for Able Differently. Nice. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So what do we mean? I'd like you to tell us, Stella. What do we mean when you talk about mobility barriers? Um, mobility barriers uh, basically includes all the environmental physical barriers mm -hmm. that include, um, that hinder any person with physio physical disability mm -hmm. from uh, moving around comfortably, mm -hmm. from living an independent life. Mm -hmm. So that's what we mean by uh, environmental barriers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So could you give us examples of maybe those things that might hinder you from moving around comfortably? Let's say, let's take an example of an institution. Mm -hmm. You find places with stairs. Mm -hmm. Uh, you find that uh, people with wheelchair, people who use wheelchair cannot access that building. Yeah. And uh, let's take an example of uh, public transport. Yes. Let's say I'm a tattoo. Mm -hmm. You find like my friend here, Stella, mm -hmm. needs another person to help her. Yeah. And yet we can uh, get maybe lifts mm -hmm. to help her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And again, when it comes to maybe washrooms, mm -hmm. you know, visiting a washroom is somehow private. Yes. So you find that uh, you cannot visit a washroom mm -hmm. without help and that uh, is not very good because it hinders your privacy. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's true. So uh -huh. Stella, tell us maybe some of the challenges you face from a day to in your day-to-day -day activities when it comes to mobility. Right. Yeah. Um, there are quite many, <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'll start from, you know, the most important. Mm -hmm. um, Basing on the f on the fact that you know I'm also in school, yeah, and what I've observed is most of the higher learning institutions mm -hmm. are not actually accessible. Yeah, and you know the only way we can empower persons with disabilities mm -hmm. is of course through education. Yeah, and that can only happen if we actually create an accessible environment mm -hmm. in our institutions. Mm -hmm. So that is one. Most of institutions are not accessible, mm -hmm. higher institutions, mm -hmm. and that is uh, you know a, a limit. Yeah. Um, secondly, is transport. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, <laughs> public transport is just hectic. It I'm is. sure. I'm sure you it find is. it hectic know, yourself. Yeah. So you can imagine you're in my position yeah. in a wheelchair. It's a rainy season. Yeah. You're, like you know, today. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you're just there, and you know, um, the people in Matatus are like, "Oh, she's in a wheelchair. She's gonna waste time mm. getting in and all that." Yeah. So they'll just pass by. Mm -hmm. So you know, if 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 uh, we can have an accessible transport. Um, that we can easily get in and out. Yeah. That would be really nice. Mm -hmm. There's also um, 
as you said stairs mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they're quite everywhere from yeah. stores mm-hmm. i i can't just you know go to town go into a store comfortably mm-hmm. get some private items for myself yeah. i have to send somebody yeah. i mean we're living in an era where i don't think we should be doing that mm-hmm. it should be accessible for everybody i should be able to wake up in the morning mm-hmm. go to the store get whatever i want yeah. and come out even I in mean, the apartments yes yeah. yes yes so um i feel like if i feel like um creating an accessible environment mm-hmm. is actually one way of making pwds independent yeah that is the only way because most of the time uh, people think that we need help mm-hmm. but it's because i mean the, the environment is not even accommodating yeah and that's why mm-hmm. yeah so you're saying that people should stop feeling like you need help because if we make this environments a little bit easier for you to access mm-hmm. then you'll be independent yes. you can do yes. like 90% yes. of yes. the things yes. that you need to do I think for that's yourself. what people should get straight yeah, yeah. yeah. that's uh-huh. not that's not what uh, i mean that's what people are not getting mm-hmm. so if 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 our environments are made um accessible you know for us i think it should be good yeah <laughs> yeah so how do you cope with those challenges i'm i'm guessing maybe you're facing some of those challenges yourself yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. how do you cope with some of those challenges so sometimes you just ask for help mm-hmm. and sometimes you don't access any building like uh, i can go to another building that mm-hmm. i can access maybe let's say i need to access a cyber yeah and the cyber is on the second floor mm-hmm. and uh, maybe i have physical disability so yeah. i cannot use the stairs for long mm-hmm. so i just prefer sometimes you just you just prefer like go to another building yeah. where you can access yeah yeah mm-hmm. it's true that's better yeah. okay so when 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 you talk about the campaign which i want you to tell us more about what are those things that are necessary to make mobility a bit easier for you guys um well uh, the the campaign is called accessible kenya campaign mm-hmm. yeah. um that um emphasizes on creating an enabling environment mm-hmm. for pwds mm-hmm. and we are basically focusing on physical uh environment Mind. and physical mm-hmm. disability mm-hmm. so a person with physical disability includes somebody using a wheelchair mm-hmm. or somebody with crutches mm-hmm. yeah basically mm-hmm. uh those that uh find challenges mm-hmm. with movements so what can be enabled is of course by putting up ramps mm-hmm. and one thing i've realized mm-hmm. nowadays you know it's 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 a it's a law yeah. you know every public building should be accessible mm-hmm. and what i've realized is now that people know that mm-hmm. and um they don't to f- they don't want to find themselves in trouble mm-hmm. they're putting up ramps mm-hmm. but now the ramps are as as good as theirs it's like very steep mm-hmm. i cannot even get in by myself i still have to look for somebody yeah, to help to me help in yeah. so you see it's n- it's not doing any good uh-huh. people are putting up ramps that are not you know yeah, they're not supposed to enough. yes yeah. yes yes okay. so if you know people can if uh good ramps mm-hmm. can be put up mm-hmm. that would be really nice mm-hmm. um also stairs mm-hmm. in buildings that have like 14 floors mm-hmm. by the way, how do you guys get up <laughs> in a 14 <laughs> floor building <laughs> like don't you guys get tired we also get tired anyway yeah. so i can imagine how it would be for you right yeah yeah okay um also some of the public offices mm-hmm. you, you find that you know some maybe others who finished school and looking for jobs mm-hmm. they go into a public building mm-hmm. there's like a whole lot of stairs and mm-hmm. they cannot get in mm-hmm. so i mean there's a lot to be done yeah yeah uh-huh. and it can only happen if you know if ourselves uh-huh. speak up yeah because sure. mostly we just sit down and say you know national council is there mm-hmm. Bo- bodies are there to fight for our rights yeah but they are not do okay enough is not being done <laughs> so i guess we you know we really have to speak for ourselves mm-hmm. because That's we true. are actually the ones um facing mm-hmm. the challenges mm-hmm. and know better yeah yeah because they they don't understand like you do right yeah. yeah so whose idea was it to come up with a campaign um <laughs> well it is both of us yeah. um we 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 are alumni of an organization mm-hmm. it's called youth exchange and study program mm-hmm. um so yeah we 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 wrote the proposal mm-hmm. and uh, yeah it went through mm-hmm. and yeah <laughs> so john tell us 
Mm. What were your main goals when you were starting this campaign? I know the biggest one is to talk about accessibility. Yeah. Do you, did you have any other goals other than that? Yeah, yeah, I mm -hmm. did. Um, let's say my, my main goal mm -hmm. was to see people living with disability mm -hmm. happy. Yeah. You know, when uh, you give a person an access to something, mm -hmm. that person goes home happy. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, and um, many people are hindered by these uh, physical barriers, and you find that they cannot achieve their goals. Mm -hmm. Like, let's say a person comes from high school mm -hmm. and goes to maybe a higher learning institution, and finds that institution inaccessible. Mm -hmm. So you find this person, and I put a tattoo on like, yeah. I'm done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, that, you know, people have potential. Mm -hmm. And in order to realize those potentials, mm -hmm. you have to give that person freedom. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And I find uh, if we get rid of these physical barriers, mm -hmm. you're giving people freedom. It's true. Yeah, and uh, yeah. they end up living a happy life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and mm -hmm. in any case, that is the ultimate goal. We need to be happy in everything that we do. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So, um, have those goals been achieved? Even if not to completion, but are you seeing something from the campaign? Uh, gauging from what we have seen, mm -hmm. At least you're being listened to. You yeah. find people are responding positively. Mm -hmm. And you find that uh, maybe a person saying now, ah, I saw this, I saw this. And they say, now we need people to, our work is not just to speak. Now we need the implementation. Mm -hmm. Like you find out, uh, we are just saying now we need an accessible environment. Mm -hmm. But who will make this environment accessible? So yeah. we need uh, now the implementation part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is what is missing. Yeah. People are not implementing mm -hmm. whatever you're actually telling them. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And it's also good mm -hmm. because um, majority of you know people who speak the same language, other people with physical disabilities, actually really agree, mm -hmm. and um, they're in full support. Yeah. You know, because they 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 understand, they face it, mm -hmm. and you know they 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 are like you know this is a really good cause mm -hmm. and it can bring change. It's true. Yeah. 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 So have you ever approached maybe like an owner of a building, maybe to provide ramps or like a person who is in the transport system? Oh, I speak all the time <laughs> concerning <laughs> buildings. Um, when I go to a store uh -huh. to get something, there are so many supermarkets and yeah. stores around town mm. that are not accessible. So whenever I go into a building and I find that it's not really accessible for me, mm -hmm. I speak out. I, I, you know, ask, can I speak to the manager mm -hmm. or somebody in authority? Mm -hmm. I usually do that. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, the next time I go there, mm -hmm. it's still there. <laughs> the stairs are still there. Yeah. So nothing is being done. Mm -hmm. So yes, so I guess the question still remains. Mm -hmm. um, yes, who's supposed to do it? <laughs> <laughs> the implementation. Right, still. right, yeah. right. Yeah. So and when you talk to these people, do they give you like a positive feedback and they tell you they'll do it or they just Yeah, actually they do and they, they, they seem to be, you know, kinda afraid. Because you know people know the law. Yeah. They it's know. True. Mm -hmm. They know they should be having a ramp. The building should be accessible. Mm -hmm. But it's just I don't know what to call it. Is it ignorance or what? Let's just say it's not ignorance. It's mm -hmm. just that uh, you know, to make a change, yeah, you need finances. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you find uh, you go to a building and tell that person we need a ramp, and mm -hmm. the person tells you, no, need to me a piece of that. I used all the money. Yeah, and you find that person is feeling you, mm -hmm. is kind of empathizing with you, mm -hmm. but uh, there is not much they can do. Yeah, there is not much they can do. I think the but people. But again, uh -huh. you know, I I won't agree with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because they believe they even cheaper ramps, mm -hmm. um, ramps that are made from you know plywood. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. I I think they're cheap and and keeping in mind it's a business organization. Mm -hmm. I mean they should be able to provide. Mm -hmm. Or keeping in mind it's a government. I mean it's a government thing. Come on, mm -hmm. they should be able <laughs> to put it up. Yes. Okay. I think maybe they feel like, for example, like a store. Mm -hmm. It's been I operations are there from maybe around eight to ten in the evening. Maybe they feel like they can't stop business yeah. to cater for just a few people. Okay, I'm just saying yeah, I'm not yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, to cater for a few. It's it's just complicated, but mm -hmm. they should be. But the people who should be implementing that more are the people who are 
build coming up with new buildings each and every day mm -hmm. yeah that's right yes it's true so um wh which organizations are you working with when it comes to the campaign um currently it's uh, just the youth exchange and study program mm -hmm. that's the funding um and partnering organization at mm -hmm. the moment mm -hmm. yes all right mm -hmm. and um are there any other organizations that you're targeting to work with that might make the implementing a little bit easier the implementing yes um so far not yet mm -hmm. and you know i'm hoping you know with these interviews and all <laughs> that maybe we might be able to get some mm -hmm. but we have other organizations that we're working I with mm -hmm. that um also work towards the same goal disability whatever organizations yeah. we have one called the cluster foundation mm -hmm. um it's a spinal injury kind of organization yes there is that um are they you know they, they are really open to support in any way mm -hmm. yeah from sharing information to yeah is there like maybe um do you have as much as you're saying that implementation is not being done is it like a hundred percent not being done or there's actually a place where you needed the ramps you needed the elevators maybe in terms of transport and they actually did that like a success story maybe mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um i'll talk of my institution yes. <laughs> um it's not very accessible mm -hmm. uh, the time i you know i joined mm -hmm. But you know, I realized when you continually, um, what will I call it? Talk about I it. I won't say complain exactly. Mm -hmm. When you continually <laughs> <laughs> talk about it, is when actually people realize, oh, this is a serious thing. Yeah. Uh, we should actually uh, look into it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, the first time, you know, I went there, there were no, you know, rams. Mm -hmm. So at least by now they've mm -hmm. they've put at least two ramps, mm -hmm. uh, which is good. Mm -hmm. But there are other things that which I'm still um, championing about mm -hmm. because there's a lot to be done. Mm -hmm. I mean, like what? Oh, um, there's washroom accommodation mm -hmm. because oh, yeah. you know I won't use the same washroom you're using. Yeah. I mean, you will go into a washroom just get in and get out mm -hmm. quite easily yes. i'll need a more spacious washroom mm -hmm. something that i can you know transfer comfortably yeah to and out yes. um where i can shower comfortably mm -hmm. so those are the things that um need to be looked at mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. what about in apartment buildings maybe are these things being implemented yeah we can say they are implementing them mm -hmm. yeah but not uh, not most of the apartments, mm -hmm. like a, a selected few. Yes. Yeah. Are there really apartments that are implementing? Yeah, some <laughs> some got uh, mm, elevators. See. Yeah. See. <laughs> but now oh, you, you haven't come across I any. No. Have you come across any, John? Yeah, one. Okay. One in Baker. But you find now, mm -hmm. let's say they are a bit expensive. Yes, they exactly. Provide, yeah, yeah, they provide yeah. all the services, but uh -huh. you find uh, most of us mm -hmm. cannot afford. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, they should uh, maybe they should be affordable to everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to ask about the transport system. How should, how would a, um, maybe a vehicle be comfortable for you to come in and go in um, to get off easily? Um, I don't know if you've you've seen mm -hmm. some. Mm -hmm. There are vehicles that have. Uh, a lift yeah. kind of thing. Yes, yeah. So yeah, basically, yeah. it lowers down. Uh -huh. I go in, uh -huh. goes up, yeah. and then I go into the into the vehicle. Uh -huh. I'll decide whether to transfer into the chair mm -hmm. or not, not yeah. or just uh -huh. sit there. Okay. Yes. I think that's a that's also a hard one when it comes to the <laughs> p public transport system. Mm -hmm. It is not hard mm -hmm. because we have had some schools in Kenya that already mm -hmm. have such oh, public a uh, pa uh, schools. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. They okay. already have this kind of vehicles. Yeah. And it's not a big deal, I, you know. I feel like it's not such a big deal. Mm -hmm. We can get it. It's only that people need to be open more, and you need to speak more yes, about yes, it. Yes, yes, we need to speak <laughs> more. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what you're doing right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Um, is there anything else you'd like to tell us about the campaign that we've not talked about? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we've not talked about um, how people can support us. Yes. Please you too. can reach us via our social media handles, mm -hmm. um, Instagram, Accessible Kenya Campaign. Please follow, 
like post or repost tweets um in twitter also accessible kenya at, at kenya underscore access and in facebook also accessible kenya mm. campaign yes how is it that you'd like um other people to help speaking out or um, implementing how exactly would you like if if i wanted to help for example mm -hmm. how would you like me to help um i'd like you to help by of course speaking out mm -hmm. reaching to more people yeah. because right now we really need you know the targeted audience mm -hmm. we need to reach out to you know the 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 right people yeah so um how you can be part of it is of course you know uh, coming to us trying to reach to your circles and mm -hmm. you know as yeah all right yeah thank you so much for making time to be with us maybe thank you'd you like to share your social media handles in the personally individually uh, individually uh, -huh. uh facebook you can find me at uh, john latan mm -hmm. twitter the same mm -hmm. instagram the same all right yeah what's about you uh facebook STL chess TOI mm -hmm. STL chess one word TOI um, Instagram amawila am underscore a underscore wila mm -hmm. and then Twitter Stella TOI mm -hmm. yeah maybe you can tell us your final thoughts and you share with us your final thoughts so that we want mm -hmm. uh, well my final thoughts are just to encourage you the, w the viewer mm -hmm. you know you don't have to be physically challenged you can you know be part of us join this great course because i mean sometimes you're going to grow old <laughs> you yeah. won't be able to climb those stairs mm. so it's not just about people with disabilities it's it's for all it's for the good of all of us so please be part of us um you go into a building mm -hmm. you find that there are there are no there are no ramps mm -hmm. you know you just try to put yourself into someone else's position yeah. someone in a wheelchair or crutches mm -hmm. you find that they cannot um you know access just try and reach out to the management try to talk to them you know tell them this building is not accessible and according to my knowledge mm -hmm. um all public buildings should be accessible so i mean what i'm trying to say is if we all speak out towards this mm -hmm there'll be a change yeah there'll be a change yes. definitely yes All right. well she kind of said <laughs> you know but i can uh, i can just add that uh, together we can do it yes yeah together okay. we can do it okay mm -hmm. thanks so much for making time to join us thank you for having we'll us we'll definitely preach about the accessibility yes and we wish you the best in your campaign thank you mm -hmm. please thank you. follow <laughs> <laughs> yes please follow like share share especially yeah, so that's all we had for you for Real Talk today this morning, but don't you go anywhere. More of Isaac is coming your way.